we did a couple three four videos that wasn't logging related and uh, somebody's probably getting tired of me doing stuff that ain't logging videos because it's longer way you know what i mean and the other day somebody somebody said they wanted some longer videos so this is going to be a long video now it's going to be the last of long videos for a while but this is a long one but if you're into equipment you're into what we're doing this is probably one of the best videos i've ever shot if you're a nerd like me That bar is a sweetheart. Look at that. It's still straight after all the dumb stuff I've done. Man, you gotta love this thing. I was aggravated at it for a while there until I figured out how to file the damn thing. Hang on, Joni. Wait for me. Just give me two seconds, Joni. You bastard. Okay, it's all you, Joni Baloney. Boy, this son looks great at working up this walnut veneer. Come on. It ain't the most powerful thing in the world, but I'll tell you one thing, it don't burn no fuel. I did that shovel log on that steep ground the other day, a shovel log and topped and shortened up drags, throwed them over the hill for the skidder and all that shit. And this son buck burnt, uh, it didn't even, it burned just over a quarter tank of fuel. And we skidded that whole area out with the grapple skidders, and we never get to skid that steep ground out with grapple skidders like that. Then he'd come to the yard, help him cut up in the yard, Trucks show up, you can load, help load trucks. Well, I gotta sit still before I start sawing, that's my problem. Getting too rammy. Hope she don't swing through here wild like she has been. This son bitch is going to do all the things that I wanted it to do when we pick this son buck out. But as far as the bucket and thumb, we're going to have to do some modifying to get that done. But I got a plan. We'll get her done. Them old boys was telling me I had to do either or, and I was like, boys, I ain't doing either or, I'm doing both, period. Period. Make sure I cut that one in just the right spot. Man, you gotta love this thing. machine that I've seen so far that's an actual pain in the butt is it don't have a lot of bite and pull. You have to kind of, but you can use this little heel thing to get the bite and pull to do it, but if you, it looks to me like the way the heel, the little mini heel's built, it's 
you get too hard on the daggone thing, you'll break it off pretty easy, it looks to me like. But look, here's what I love about this head. Look at that. I don't know what's going on there. Oh, yeah, I had too close to the hub. Look at that, boy. Look at that, boy. Here's the red oak there, yeah. Look out, Davey. We'll get this. We got this, Johnny Baloney. Anybody on here is wondering what the learning curve is for this doodad. This is the morning. This is my third morning of playing on this, and I've not, I've not had a full day on it yet. I've just parts of a day. But this is, I probably have less than 10, 15 hours on this tool. So it's not bad. It's not bad to learn. I, I thought I'd be more intimidated than what I am starting into it.
So all I do is get all the wood that I can, because it is walnut. And eat sawdust because I'm a rookie yet. Ha <laughs> ha you son of a fuck.
That's probably just a tad much. You take these crooked things out, then Joni can uh, cut up in the, on, the, on the deck faster. But in Walmart, you gotta be super careful so you can screw it up your dollar by doing it.
you're still watching at this point it's it gets kind of dull from here on in um, basically it's hard to explain to somebody doing their, that's never not been around this basically what we're working on here is walnut and walnuts expensive and you've got to be really careful and you can't you can't cut it up with a machine you kind of gotta crawl off and stare at it and take your time so what I'm doing with this thing is I'm just kind of setting the walnut butts out there to where we can take our time, smooching them up a little bit on the ends, make sure the butts look good. And then uh, we'll set them out there and then we'll take our time, we'll process them, we'll cut them. Uh, these smaller ones like this, I'm cutting them, I'm going ahead and cutting the butts off with this uh, machine and then throwing the rest of the tree back there for the knuckle boom to cut and process then. But, uh, you know, then we'll click save them and all that good mess. But uh, this thing has really helped on that because you can lay out a pile of them, which you see what I got laid out here, and we'll only cut one log off of them or a double, whatever they turn out to be, veneer-wise. And then we'll throw the uh, saw material back to the, the knuckle boom and then the knuckle boom process it from there. And then what we've done is we just saved up our veneer back in the woods and done it all at once. So that's kind of what's going on here. And if you're not used to seeing this done, it's, uh, you know, like all the loggers and stuff, they'll know what's going on here. But now to move the production through the boom while you're doing the veneer, this is a first for us, you know. And it turned out phenomenal. Here I am cleaning the head out. I had some junk up in there that, you know, I took it up there and cleaned it out. But, uh, and I got a lot to learn with the bar and all that mess, which we'll get, we'll get that figured out. But, uh, Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you didn't fall asleep. <laughs> Y'all wanted a long video, so this is what you got. Okay, thanks everybody for watching. Sorry I'm being so quiet because the boys are napping. I'm actually babysitting today, and I don't want to wake them up from their nap time to you. But uh, I'm getting ready to shut this hair down. We're getting a walnut out there, and I'm gonna step out, and me and Dad's gonna take care of them and then mark them off and I'll cut them off the machine and stack them. Now here's some pictures we got. We got our little boy back. We got her hooked to old Blackie. Me and the old bird feels like him big fancy pants loggers now. But there he is. Get her move. And there's a, uh, that's, now I ain't got no flags or banners or nothing, but we're only moving a couple miles down the road on a gravel road, on a basically a uh, oil road. But, uh, We'll have to get her all dressed up later, but she pulls sweet and it looks good and it feels good. So it should be a real nice rig.